Hi guys, Sarah here from Highland Haven Australian Shepherds and this is video three of my dog breeding video series. Just a short one today guys. I thought I told you I would update you on how I manage these guys when I have uh, a dog in heat and two studs in the house. Uh, so this is part of what I do. Excuse my dirty floor but it has been raining for two days so we're trying to keep the kitchen floor clean as well as we can when we have uh, 20 dog feet coming in and out of the house every day. Uh, so this is Ty. He is connected to <laughs> the leg of the kitchen table. Ruby, who is my oldest spayed female, thinks all of this is just crazy bullshit and just would like to stay under the table all the time while this is going on. Ty has finally settled down. It is 6.10 in the morning. We've been up for a half an hour. Last night we had to separate them because Meadow has uh, become very receptive to not only Ty, but also her 11 month old brother, Deacon. Let's see if we can find him. He's probably laying in front of the door. Deacon. So I did not expect to have uh, Deacon be so um, interested in Meadow at this age. He's very young. He seemed to not what, know what was going on. Come here, baby. He seemed to not know what was going on um, for the first uh, 10 days or so. But last night, he definitely figured out that Meadow is in heat and he is ready to breed instantaneously. Now, it would be pretty unusual for an 11-month-old puppy to actually produce a litter, but certainly not unheard of. And because he is Meadow's uh, brother, obviously we have to be super duper careful of that. Um, I did take both boys to work with me yesterday, uh, which really helps. The girls can sort of hang out in the house without being disturbed. Um, and the boys can rest at work because there's no girl in heat around. So it's pretty tricky. I have to divide them up at night. Uh, Ty and Remy and Ruby slept with me and um, Ty and Remy and Ruby and yes, and Deacon slept with me and Meadow slept with Jacob last night, which uh, allowed Ty to calm down a little bit. It took him about 20 minutes to stop whining. Um, I do tie him to my bed leg, the leg of my bed, because um, otherwise he paces all night. So this way he gets six foot to sort of stand up and move around, um, but he uh, can't go anywhere, which helps him to relax. Here's my other horny boy, Deacon. Hi, good morning. So it's been tricky. I'm really lucky to have two different fenced in areas in my backyard, so it's a, a mad shuffle to get the boys in one side and the girls in the other and then the boys inside and the girls inside. Right now Meadow is relaxing in Jacob's room. He's still sleeping, uh, which allows the boys to relax. So it's been, um, you know, predictably challenging to have uh, all this going on. Um, I always expect it. Uh, you know, I know what this is all about. However, <laughs> when it happens, I think, how am I gonna do this for seven days? Uh, so today's day 12, guys. I know we talked about uh, breeding Meadow on day 14, so that's still in the works. So stay tuned, um, and uh, I will give you an update on breeding day. Um, I do want to thank all of you guys who've commented and, and um, DM'd me. It's super nice. I love it. Keep it coming. If you're enjoying this video series, please like, comment, follow, share, all that good stuff. Thanks, guys. Bye.